Let's write the decimal 0 0.88 as a fraction. So the first thing I want to do, I want to put it over 1. 0 0.88 divided by 1, it's still 0 0.88, but now it's starting to look like a fraction. What I'd like to do is get this number here to be a whole number. And I see there's one, two decimal places. So if there's two decimal places, I can just multiply the numerator here by 100, and that'll give me a whole number. 100 times 0 0.88 that equals 88. So I have my whole number. But I can't just multiply the numerator here by 100. I also need to multiply the denominator by 100. That's because 100 divided by 100, that equals 1. So I'm just multiplying this by 1. I'm not changing the actual value, just the way it's represented. So 100 times 1, that equals 100. And we end up with 88 over 100. This is our fraction. We can simplify this further, though. Let's give ourselves some room. So if we divide 88 by 2 and 100 by 2, 88 divided by 2, that equals 44. 100 divided by 2, that's 50. These are both even numbers. I can reduce it further. If I divide 44 by 2, I get 22. If I divide 50 by 2, I get 25. I can't reduce or simplify this any further. So the decimal is 0 0.88. That equals the fraction 22 25ths, or 44 fiftieths, or 88 over 100. If you divide 22 by 25, 44 by 50, or 88 by 100, you'll get the decimal 0 0.88. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.